As part of our ABC7 original series, we are sharing your stories, and today we're introducing you to a man whose work you've probably seen across the Bay Area. Yeah, tonight, the artist behind Berkeley Signs and how he painted his way across the United States. It's important to me to take historic representation of signs beyond just the superficial. It shows in the materials themselves, um, whether it's gold, uh, wood, uh, metal, that is, tells a story that goes beyond just, say, fonts and, and, and logos. People believing in me to do something is, is very inspiring. I'm Steve Vigeant, and I'm a multimedia sign artist. I'm at 40 years of making signs in the Bay Area. I'm a sign maker who uh, does paint and a uh, wide variety of techniques that are available to the sign makers. I've had the company Berkeley Signs for about 30 years. High school days in New Jersey, I would draw uh, cartoons off the newspaper, and I would just like a Xerox machine, you know, I would, ro I would just copy them. And uh, I was so good at that that it seemed like my dad, who had a real estate company, needed these cheap real estate signs, and I uh, could reproduce the design that he had in mind. It's a, kind of an avid thing in the 80s to be able to repaint signs that had been done, you know, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, that were all faded, you know, and I started repaint these weathered signs. I started to travel around the country doing it. I came out to California, did a few signs along the way, Chicago, New Orleans, I did a lot in New Jersey, even in Texas, repainting old signs in industrial areas. I had a 67 Plymouth Fury station wagon, and I had all my paint supplies in the back, and I would hit a town and look for these signs. It wasn't until I found um, other sign painters who cared about real sign work, real sign painting, that I branched out and became a sign maker, which took about 10 years. There was a neighborhood in Richmond, California that uh, had been ravaged by history, I guess. In, in, in 1981, there were some struggling new businesses that wanted to have signage, and I wound up painting um, all the businesses around there. It was an opportunity for me to try to create something new that was uh, helpful to the community. That is a good feeling. For a long time, I, I had some signs along Route 80 and 880 that were very well known. I had done the floor store, a gigantic billboard on the corner of MacArthur and San Pablo Avenue, that uh, Maz Glass. I did the gold, traditional gold leaf lettering for San Francisco City Hall, uh, right where you walk out when you're, after you're married. It was gonna be a sticker, but th through uh, my contacts, I was able to uh, have the opportunity to do traditional gold leaf there. Gold leaf belongs on that window. The big picture is that branding has taken over every aspect of our life. And signs have been part of that evolution from the beginning. I think it's important that old traditional techniques that work, that what's the, the best way to do something that creates that human effect that we find appealing. Graphic design is beyond just pictures. It's a whole ambiance of, of how we present ourselves and how we want to be seen.